Good morning and thank you very much for the, for the invitation. My name is David Andrea, I'm a virologist working at the Medical University of Vienna and I work particularly in the fields of urethral cancer and um, clinical outcome research. So the study that we presented at this meeting are the, the results of our eBlock trial. It's a multicenter randomized um, phase three trial comparing M-block resection for bladder tumor to conventional um, tumor B. And the aim of the study was to investigate whether uh, M-block resection is superior in the quality of the specimen that we retrieve compared to a conventional tumor B. Based on uh, our study, um, it's a tricky question to answer. Yeah. It is indeed uh, definitely an advantage over the uh, conventional resection because it gives, uh, um, allows to retrieve a better quality specimen, has a reduction in complication adverse events intraoperatively. Um, so if feasible, in, if the tumor size allows it, I think yes, in every patient that can be resected in block should also be resected in block. Well, the limitations of the technique are inherent to the tumor size. Um, sometimes the location could be a little tricky, uh, but can be overcome. Um, the tumor has to fit through the cytoscope. So uh, doing an M-block resection after that, having to fragment the tumor um, is not the purpose. So um, I think the only limitation is the size. Yeah, that's a very interesting question, and thank you for raising this point. Uh, indeed, in our study, um, 60 patients underwent a RETUR, and we could not find uh, a difference between the two, the two groups. So 50% of the block resected had a, a papillary disease at RETUR, and 56% uh, on the conventional had a residual disease. Uh, so this is definitely a field that has to be explored in, in with a more numbers and larger series. Yeah, as I said before, um, definitely if, if it's feasible, it should definitely be implemented. Uh, we have several techniques that we can adopt with laser, with, with um, uh, monopolar, bipolar. Uh, whatever the center has the availability, um, it, should be, it should be adopted and it's up to, uh, to the, to the uh, infrastructure that you have the team and, uh, and the possibilities you have in your uh, institution. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the most critical question. And uh, in our study, we could not show in uh, a relative short follow-up of 18 months, we could not show a significant difference in the recurrence-free survival between the two arms. Um, and also, uh, the data that we have from retrospective series and other randomized trials, none could show a significant difference between the two groups. So this is probably uh, inherent to tumor biology, but also uh, surgical technique and uh, other confounders that cannot be measured. Um, and I, am, I think also when we plan this study to clearly show an oncologic benefit in terms of recurrence-free survival, you will need a huge number of patients. So we're talking about 3,000 patients. So uh, a difficult trial to conduct, but uh, based on the data that we have, yeah, it's difficult to say if M-block will ever show uh, an oncological benefit compared to the conventional.